Hi, and welcome to our latest installment of New Home Construction with John. Now, last time we were over here at this lot, there was just a hole dug, and we talked about the footings going in. Now, Kelsey, if you'll go ahead and scan down here, you'll see that these are footings. Now, these particular footings are for the garage foundation wall, and the footing is typically about 16 inches wide and 8 inches thick, and that's what these forms will set on. And that over here, you'll see these forms going up. And the garage wall is a certain height. Your basement walls are another height. So typically eight foot tall for the garage walls, nine to 10 feet tall for the basement walls, and so on. And what they'll do is go ahead and set these forms up. That's what they're doing right now. You'll see that there's plenty of steel or rebar as we call it, set inside of the footings. And then the walls will go around that or the forms will go around that. And inside these forms is where they'll go ahead and put some more steel. Kelsey, I might have you get a shot down through here. And you can see before this is set up completely, you can see down through here, there's plenty of rebar, plenty of steel through there. This will all be set and connected together. And then they'll go ahead and pour concrete inside of here. They usually take metal rods to make sure they get all the air bubbles out as they're pouring that concrete. Let it set up. A couple of days, they'll pull the forms off and we'll have a foundation. After the foundation is completed and poured, they'll go ahead and let it set here and cure for anywhere from 10 days to 21 days. And why that's going on, we'll talk about the next step would be the waterproofing or damp proofing of the foundation walls. And we'll see you then. Have a great day.